How are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using the Ambulite Rejection Technology Gain times 7 and 8. All right, so tomorrow we will have available in our shopping cart uh, that new Supreme 8, the Ambulite Rejection Titanium Black Silver, which will be available on our website tomorrow. But I want to talk to you something here. I told you I going to do this video before the end of the day. I am talking about the Optima GT 5500 or 5600. I own the 55. Now, usually uh, one of the big points when people see on ultra short throw projectors is they see the, um, the fact that how big of a screen can you get out of it, all right? The fact the projector sits right up on top of the wall. Um, you don't have to have a lot of wires and cables and so forth. It just pretty much just sits right next to the wall and it's pretty much like having a TV. But what I wanted to talk about is the fact that I've seen a projector, uh, it's called the Viva or Valva. I don't, I don't know. I'm not uh, pronouncing it correctly, but it's spelled V-A-V-A. -A. Now, one of the discussions I had in a, um, in a uh, Facebook, uh, um, on, on the page, homepage of that projector, was I didn't like the fact that the projector's specifications, one actually clarifying that it was 4K, came up under native resolution under 10, um, 1920 by 1080, which is a 1080p projector, but they said the pixelations can be shifted to uh, do 4K. Now that's, sorry, but I guess that's considered to be compressed 4K where you're compressing an image to come close to looking like 4K, but technically it's not 4K. So anyway, uh, one of the things people fall in love with when they see these particular projectors is the fact that the projector can do a 150 inch screen. Now, keep in mind the Optima GT55 has that capability, but when using the proper technology, you have that you, you can do it. I'm going to show you in this video how I'm getting a 120 inch, and the projector can expand out to 150 inch. Now, everybody knows if you don't know too much about this, you know what I mean. I'm just going to help you out with this. When a projector, the closer projector sits, like say if you have the Optima GT55, you have it on a 100 inch screen, which that is recommended for that projector, a 100 inch screen. And say you have it pushed right up against the screen, that means that when a projector is sitting close to a screen to fit a 100 inch, that means that the pixelations will be tighter knit together, the picture will be sharper, and the picture will be brighter. Now, when you pull the projector away, then that's where the image is going to become distorted and people think that, oh, actually it's going to happen. If you're using a white screen or a light screen, the picture becomes distorted. Uh, the pixelations have to expand. You're going to actually use a little bit of the lumens because the lumens are going to travel just a little bit farther out to hit the screen. So lumen drops will still be, will start to begin. But also too, with the pixelations expanding outward, you the picture will start to deteriorate. Now. With our technology, our technology has the ability to allow you to pull an Optima GT55 or 56 projector that is recommended for 100 inch um, all the way out to about 150 inch screen. Now keep in mind, I'm going to show you this really quick. The screen I have in the middle is 120 inches, right? The Optima GT55 comes in at it says it's coming at 100 inches. That's the most you can get out of it. Now, if you're doing this on a white screen or a light gray screen, your picture is going to deteriorate regardless, even if you have it at 100 inches. You just stand a better chance because the projector is closer, which means it's going to produce a brighter image, and the pixelations are tighter knit together, which means the image is going to become sharper. So I'm going to show you something real quick when we zoom up on here really quick. Now, you see the white wall here? My projector is at 3,600 lumens. You see how there's no detail in the white wall? See how the greens are faded and washed out? All right, this is what happens if you take an ultra short throw projector and you pull back to 150 inches on a white or light screen. Now on black technology, it reacts different. On black technology, look at the detail that you're seeing in the rock here, and then come over here and look at the detail. Rocks, we got a rock over there. Look at the detail in the rock here, right? You're seeing right here on the white screen. Right there, if I can get my hand in front of the camera right there. Now see the, let me bring this back a little bit. See the detail right there in the rock? And look at the detail here in the rock. This is why when you use a white or light screen, light gray screen, and if you try to do this on an Optima GT55 or 56 or any kind of ultra short throw projector that tells you that you have to be at 100 inches in order to produce that particular size screen to its best, 
Well, that's the reason why you're having that problem, due to the fact that your screen does not have the capability to pull contrast. Contrast is everything. This is the reason why we made the Supreme 8, um, that new, uh, the titanium black silver, we made it extremely dark, because we knew that contrast is needed. Now here I am able to get 120 inch. My screen in the center is 120 inch. The screen, um, the wall around it, which is white, maxes the screen up to 150 inches. But the reason why the image looks so incredible is because we're using black technology. And this is why if you did this on a white wall or a light screen, the picture becomes distorted. You see right here, you can't even make out, right there, you can't make out the rocks. And over here, if you look at it, you can see all the individual little grooves and, and detail lines in the picture because it's black technology. And keep in mind, like I said, even the dark gray has that capability. And the reason why I'm doing this with the lights out because I'm gonna show you the full effect. Now, if I turn the lights on, of course, the outer screen on the wall is gonna disappear. It's going to wash out. Black screen is not going to wash out. It's going to be to maintain this picture. So to keep everything fair, I have the lights out. So it just shows you that yes, when using our black tech, uh, sorry, when using our black technology or dark gray technology, you have the ability to be able to use your Optima GT55 or 5600 or any ultra short throw projector that claims that you have to be uh, stuck at 100 inches. My screen upstairs is 126, and I have no problem whatsoever, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. I had somebody saying, well, if you pull it back more than that, your picture is going to be distorted. The, you're not going to be able to see the image that well. No, you can't see the image that well because you're using it on a white screen, and a white screen can't pull contrast. That's the problem. Light gray screen can't pull contrast. That's why the image looks incredible in the center and all around it looks like garbage. And I have my projector pulled back far as enough to get a 150 inch screen. So keep in mind, if this were true and our technology didn't work on that level to be able to get the projector that capability, this would be distorted and blurry, just like that. It would have a darker tint to it, but it'd be distorted and blurry. You couldn't make out anything. And I can make out everything in the picture. All right, just wanted to shut it off really quick on how to get the most from your projector. Um, also, too, like I said, I've seen that projector. Uh, I've seen it bragging about being 4K and all this, and I'm sorry, it's not, in my opinion, it's not 4K. Native resolution should say 4K. It should have 4K pixelation specs. It should not have uh, 1920 by 1080p. And I think people fall for those projectors because those projectors say, hey, look, you can get a 150-inch screen if you pay $4,500. For $4,000 or five five thousand five thousand or four thousand dollars. Sorry about that. This projector comes in even at $1,800. My Optima GT5500, I paid around, um, when I first got it, it was $1,100. Now they're on Amazon for around $900, somewhere around $850. And with using my technology, I can get over 150, I can get, sorry, I can get over 120 inch screen as you're seeing right here. Now that projector, as they're claiming, is 1920 by 1080, my Optima GT is 1920 by 10 by uh, my by 1080p. So it's they're the same thing when it comes to 1080p specs. And then they're going to say that well you get 150 inch. Well I'm doing it right here with our technology. And also too they're going to add in that um what's the one thing one thing I would the key point I think they're adding in there. Oh that projector is well. One of them says it's 6,000 lumens, and there's another one that says that it's 2,500 lumens. Um, 6,000 lumens, I find it a bit far-fetched that you're 6,000 lumens and less than a foot away from the screen. You would illuminate your entire living room, especially with the walls being white. You'd reflect so much light. All this would be lit up completely if that was 6,000 lumens. I'm pretty much thinking about 2,500 lumens, maybe. Uh, Optima GTs are 36, the 56 is 3,000. All right, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration, just showing you how 
you can get the most from your projector using our technology and this is one of the advantage points of darker screens that they have the ability to add more detail more contrast to the picture keep in mind our black technology is the best when it comes to contrast look at that and that's on a 120 inch screen and for those who are going to sit there and say well it's, it's, it's designed for a 100 inch screen this screen is 120 inch so you can see that if I put a hundred inch in the center of the screen and did the demonstration then it just proves the point that a hundred inch screen but I did that a hundred and twenty inch just to show you that you can go bigger alright thank you all for your time I have to go and go